بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم عرفان حسین اینڈ آئی ایم ہیئر ود نیو ویڈیو ریگارڈنگ آ کورس آف انگلو سیکشن لٹریچر دا کورس نیم از ہسٹری آف انگلش لٹریچر اینڈ وی آر ناؤ ڈیز گوئنگ تھرو دا لٹریچر آف اینگلو سیکشن پیریڈ ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از اینگلو سیکشن پروز دا فرسٹ بگ نیم in Anglo-Saxon English prose. The point is to be noted that it is about English prose because the Latin prose had already been written by Bede but now it is about English prose and that was first written by the great King Alfred. King Alfred was one of the most famous kings of uh, the time of Anglo-Saxon period who was crowned in 871. because he started prose in english literature so he is considered to be the father of english prose and his major work is his translation of bible uh, and also he translated many chronicles into english that caused uh, the spread of christianity and uh, um, made it easy for the, the newly uh, christianized people to understand the scriptures and chronicles then that were related to english. Christianity. He was a great king and uh, apart from the treasure, what he did, uh, first he defended England, especially against the Vikings, who all, always uh, became a trouble for England. They used to attack and invade England and uh, destroyed their uh, properties and uh, uh, gave them many setbacks. He fought against them and um, finally they uh, fought at Eddington with the uh, English army having brown shields and the Danes, the Vikings ha- were having the blue shields and uh, at the Battle of Eddington that um, was fought uh, between 6th and 12th May 1878. Finally, Uh, King Alfred won the battle and um, uh, made England safe and secure from the attacks of Vikings. So that, may, that was the main reason because now England was safe of uh, these attacks and um, threats through literature started to prosper in England. His first work was actually the translation from Latin to Anglo-Saxon English language. And it is always the beginning of, lit- of literature. Uh, when a new language grows or when a language is weak in literature, the first thing is done that um, translation work is um, uh, practiced. That uh, the literature of other rich languages is translated into the newly born or the growing language. That was done actually in the Anglo-Saxon period. The great king died in 899. In some tradition he was died in 901. And uh, with, the, with his death a great phenomenon was closed. The next big figure was the priest Elfric. He was uh, born in 955 C and he was died in 1010 C. He was C is the abbreviation of circa. Circa is, an, uh, is a Latin word that means roundabout. It is used when we are not sure about the date or the time. Uh, for example, here we are not sure about that he was born in 955 and we are not sure that he was died in 1010. So C is written here. It means a 955 circa, 10,000. 1010 circa that means that approximately he was born in 955 and he was bo- uh, died in 1010 he was famous uh, in his writings and he deduced hagiography in the literature what is hagiography this these are the stories of saints so we have all, all these kind of stories in our literature in punjabi urdu and every kind of literature so he did that in English literature that he wrote the stories of the Christian saints to uh, preach Christianity in Anglo-Saxon period. These were known as hagiography.
The next thing was homilies. Homily is actually the reading of scriptures. And these scriptures were the holy scriptures that were supposed to be revealed from God. And these were divine scriptures that were told and recited in front of the people for their increase of knowledge and for their, the preach of the religion. And the next important thing was exegesis. What is that exegesis? The, it is interpretation of the uh, Bible or other holy books. Uh, as uh, we write uh, or we study, read uh, the interpretation of Holy Quran, uh, so these are the exegesis, these are the interpretations uh, when these uh, verses and these uh, uh, writings are made easy and also these are explained to a common reader or a common listener. Three was famous for these things. And uh, also the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles uh, were actually popularized in the time of Wilfric and he was uh, in fact the, uh, um, the pioneer of these kind of writings and most of the time he translated these Anglo-Saxon Chronicles uh, uh, from Latin to Anglo-Saxon English language. The next big figure is Wollstone. He was an English Archbishop of Shock uh, who remained the Archbishop from 1003 to 1023 and he, he was died in 1023 in fact. He wrote prose, he wrote many homilies and um, he is famous for his famous work that is Sermo Lupi and the Laws that uh, was uh, a Latin title uh, that uh, was translated into English as the Sermon of the Wolf to the, to the English. This work was in Anglo-Saxon English language but its title was in Latin. Maybe because he wanted to give it a touch of religious uh, language uh, because Latin was their liturgical or religious language at the time. And uh, why he said wolf? Because he called himself lupus. That uh, lupus is a Latin word that means wolf. He called himself wolf. So he named that work the Sermon of the Wolf of the English. These sermons were written from 1010 to 1016. And um, in this, he criticized the clergy people of the time, the priests of the time, and uh, he said that these priests, these clergy people, uh, because of their doings, invited the wrath of God. He was of the view that uh, the battles with Vikings and attacks with the Vikings were actually the result of the anger of the God, and that anger was actually resulted from the wrongdoings of the uh, clergy people. Our, with it, our uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, literature is concluded. We have discussed Anglo-Saxon prose. We have discussed Anglo-Saxon poetry. And um, I hope that you have understood it. And if you have any question, you may ask me. And now we'll go for the Next topics in the next video, we will start the medieval history of literature. Till then, stay home, stay blessed, thank you very much.